Hi guys and welcome to this week's edition of my handmade card series. As you guys already know, this is for Cards for Cubs, an organization that helps bring awareness to children and foster care. So I will have the link, the sign up link in the description box. I am challenging you to create 10 handmade cards and send those in. You have until March 31st. Um, it's definitely doable. I'm also hosting a giveaway on um, Instagram. So if you do sign up for Cards for Cubs and you use me as a reference, you will go to my giveaway post on Instagram and you will comment, enter me and um, we will be gifting some Barely Arts glue, which is always fun. And, um, you know, a fan favorite it is obviously one of my favorites. So anyway, I hope you guys sign up. Again, I'm challenging you to create 10 handmade cards for these um, kids in foster care. Today, I am going to be doing a gatefold card. I think it's called an interlocking gatefold card. Now, you guys, I by no means am a, a, a card maker, <laughs> um, but I have so enjoyed this card series. It's so fun to, you know, be looking up cards and, and come across something that has, you know, that interests you and to learn to create it. So. There are several tutorials out there about how to make these interlocking gatefold cards, but it's super easy and I really like this size of card, uh, like a four by four. I think it's a good size. Um, so what I did is I cut my base. This is gonna be the base of my card. It measures eight by four and it is scored on the eight inch side, we're gonna score this at two and at six. So, um, if we burnish these score marks, that leaves us with a four by four card. So it's that simple, you guys, look how cute that is. So that's our little gatefold card, right? Then for the inside mat, we're gonna need a piece of white cardstock. I'm just using black and white because I want to use a stamp and I want to um, color this, the stamp in. So I thought the black and white is a really good contrast to the colors I'm going to be using. Um, so the mat inside is going to measure three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths and that will go right in here. And the interlocking part, the fun part of this card, I created using the square nesting dies. Um, and so these are still together. I really need to take this little piece off right here because it leaves a little mark on my um, die cut right there. But this is just a tutorial. And so for tutorial purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and just go with it. Um, and so anyway, this, I ran this through my die cutting machine using black. Um, that is going to be one side of, this is gonna be adhered to one side of my card. And then I ran it through using white card stock and that is going, this piece is gonna be adhered to the right side of my card. And it's kind of like a buckle. That's how it's gonna go together. So let me move this out of the way, grab my glue and I will be right back. Okay, so as I said, this piece right here is going to go adhered to the left of my card. So I'm just gonna eyeball it and add some glue to half of it. I love the precision tips from Barely Arts because they really um, help control the amount of glue that you're putting on your um, projects. I love to keep wipes on hand, especially when you're stamping. Um, but I like to just run my finger across this to remove any excess. And there really isn't that much excess um, because the precision tip is really good. So let me just grab this. And I'm again, I'm just eyeballing it. I'm going to try to you know, put this in the center, just like so. And I'll run my score tool over this. And hopefully 
hopefully that works. <laughs> and then this piece right here, I am going to add my glue to the inside of my right flap. I don't think this is how it's supposed to be done, but this is how I'm doing it. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna squeeze my little block or square die cut into there. And I actually, I think I should have stamped it before I did this, but that's okay. So this is my interlocking gatefold. Did you see how easy that was, you guys? So then when you bring this apart, you wanna make sure you don't have any glue on anything <laughs> other than the pieces you're supposed to have the glue. Oh, and let's adhere this piece right here. I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue to this. So see how this becomes like a little buckle and it just closes up just like so. Super cute. So this is where I am gonna add my stamp. Okay guys, so somehow I stopped recording. I paused it so that I could get what I needed and then it stopped recording. But this is what I used. Um, I used my Hello Spring stamp kit um so these are the two stamps that come in this month's um monthly subscription kit from coco and reno um i love this one so much it's so cute it just says hello spring so i just used this little flower um pot right here i thought it was super cute and i think you know it's good for any occasion birthdays encouragement any kind of occasion and I just really like the way this looks so my daughter colored this in and I just think it's so cute she also colored the inside of this isn't that so sweet um so I left this one blank on the inside but sh you know you can absolutely use a big stamp like this um because I mean it just looks so cute or you can just use a little sentiment that says happy birthday or thank you or great job, you know? And so these are just so adorable. So just use your stash, use whatever you have on hand. You can use, you know, just plain cardstock. You can use your pretty paper cardstock, um, patterned paper. Um, sky's the limit but I just really think this is so cute and how cute would it look to have um would it be to have like a little birthday character on here uh, some balloons I don't know just really cute but I just love how she colored this in I thought it was so cute and I think it just pops against that black cardstock so yeah these that is this week's card again if you've already signed up or if you plan to sign up make sure to go to my instagram post um so that you can there's a barely art it's like a reel that i posted and on that post if you type in enter me you will be entered to win some barely art products um some barely art glue so yeah make sure that you do that again i am asking that you create 10 handmade cards of course if you can create more than that the more the merrier um but yeah just 10 handmade cards um, again, information is, uh, in, uh, ugh, you can find the information for Cards for Cubs, um, at the link in the description box of this video. And yeah, um, let me know if you have any questions and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.